Welcome to Undressed Again with Paul and Patrick and Little Snow White 90210. Hey, Undressed Bitches. I'm excited because we have a very special Oscars runway rundown wrap for you today. 2024 Oscars. All the do's, the don'ts, the best, and the worst. We're going to basically break down all the fashion from the Oscars this year. Let's trash those bitches. I am, some of them we did like. Not yeah, all of them. Yeah, there was though. a few that we liked. All right, cool. <laughs> Let's start with Emma Stone. Emma Stone, I love her performance in Poor Things. Yes, she was brilliant, and she won the Oscar. Why was it called Poor when that, when the way they showcased everything was extremely extravagant? Oh, it was very extravagant. It so, was beautiful. Well, they the couldn't colors, call it the rich things. They had to call it poor things. Can we talk about her dress? Her dress. <laughs> Okay, Emma Stone was wearing Louis Vuitton, and what was the jewelry, babe? Boucheron? I don't know. Yeah, I think so. Okay. The dress. Let's describe the dress for our audience that didn't see the dress. It was a very exaggerated peplum with a mermaid shape at the bottom. Okay, for people like me. Babe, for people like me that are kind of, you know, don't know don't know the specific technol or terms. What does peplum mean? A peplum is an exaggerated, from the waist, out, feathered piece of fabric that elongates the extension of your waist through, out to your uh, finger, fingertips. So it stands away from your body. And it basically flares out. It flares essentially. out. Essentially. And it's in the middle of the waist only. A peplum is only there. It could be anywhere in a dress. A peplum is generally at the waist, okay. where it comes out, around the waist area. So that's when it's called a peplum. And correct me if I'm wrong, people either look great in peplum or they look fucking terrible in peplum. There's no peplum, like middle in between. Peplums are designed to be able to hide some flaws and create a definitive shape around the midriff of a female figure. So can a fat girl wear peplum? It's actually very flattering. It is. Depending on how it's cut and how it's manipulated. Okay. The one that Emma Stone was wearing, she looked beautiful in that sea foam green color, which was the fabric itself was gorgeous. You did a dress just, for Carolyn Hennessy when she was nominated for an Emmy in that same sea foam in that color. Sea foam color. And it's a beautiful color. It's it really a beautiful is. color, especially for redheads. Really? Okay. Because it has a beautiful hue. If yeah. you have a little uh, tinge of uh, red mm -hmm. in your skin tone or your hair color, it's a gorgeous color. All right. So we love it. We love Emma Stone. We love this dress, right? I think it wasn't fitting her quite right. I love the idea of the gown. I love the exaggerated peplum. I love the fact that it was uh, playing homage to her character. Yeah. And the exaggerated way that they did the uh, costumes. Well, there was a lot of peplum the show. and the big shoulders in poor thing. But I don't know if this was my favorite. It's a beautiful dress. Okay. But is it my favorite for her? Debatable. Okay. Let's All right. Let's move along to Lily Gladstone wearing Gucci. And she was wearing what big, what is it? Big Mountain Joe Big. Joe Big. Oh, Joe Big Jewelry. Is that what it is? Is that the earrings and the necklace? I can tell you that I was a little disappointed. Okay. I thought she was coming out with an indigenous designer's dress. Yeah. Alongside with an indigenous designer jewelry. Sure. She's been doing the jewelry the whole award season. Right. But... My disappointment came in how the dress had no connection to the indigenous tribe. Maybe if she had gotten some fabric that was indigenous and given it to Gucci to be able to do the construction of and create the gown, I would have said, wow. Okay. I love the feel and the texture and bringing your culture and heritage into it as she was right. you know, promoting all this. Right. But I didn't understand why she... Opted to go with Gucci in a midnight navy velvet, which is very I luxurious. I didn't like the top of the dress. You didn't like the detail that was at the very top at the bust line. I did not. I did not like, is that a, a train in the back that looks like, I didn't like the fabric for that. It was and, a reversible train with details on top. And I wasn't a fan of it, actually. 
I think it fit her fine, but I don't think it was a outstanding gown. You know what I think? I feel like if you're going to the Oscars and she was nominated for an Oscar. She for the first time. Right. And she didn't win, but she was nominated for the first time. And she was nominated for an Oscar. I didn't feel like this was like a winning dress. Like, I didn't think that, you know, would she want to go on stage in this and collect an Oscar? Let me tell you, when you're uh, <laughs> planning on your Academy Award speech, it's yeah. the same thing as when you're planning for your Academy Award dress. Okay. You want a winning speech. You want a win- winning dress. Yeah. And you have to feel the win in you and dress like a winner. It just felt this very short. This was not a winner. Very short to me. Um, let's talk about some of the guys um, because I loved Ryan Gosling wearing Gucci. Ryan Gosling <laughs> was great. I think he's tall. Yeah. He's handsome. A little blush, a little eyeliner, a little makeup, which is very great for men to be able Did to do you now. like the no bow tie shirt open with the uh, the dangling pendant? I did not like it without a bow tie. Okay. I think he needed to go with more of a classic look. Okay. I think it needed to be the tailored feel and look of the suit should have been carried out with the formal event that the Academy Awards is known for. But I love the lapel and I loved the crystals on the lapel. You didn't like that? No, that was great. Okay. The details of the crystals on the lapel, the details of the shirt, the the pants, the fit, and the shoulders, the epaulets, the, the right. shoulder pads that were the extended, beautiful. Do you but think if he didn't wear the pendant and he wore pearls instead, that would have made it a little more I think if he wore punchy? I think if he wore a bow tie okay. made out of pearls, if we wore a bow tie mm. that had pearls on it, if we wore a bow tie with a pearl pendant in the middle of it okay then he would have looked a lot more astonishing to me got it okay um let's talk about sandra hiller in scaparelli and cartier jewelry i think the jewelry was out of this world no can i I think can i say the jewelry was out of the fucking world because the jewelry was Gorgeous. I think this award season was one of the first ones that I think it it was for everybody to be able to celebrate. And I think they turned it out. Yeah. So they did their hair beautifully. They they got dressed, even though maybe it was ill-fitting or maybe not appropriate. But they certainly knew how to be able to wear the jewelry because it was diamonds on parade i mean i wanted to be on that carpet just so that i can get closer looks to every <laughs> single one of these beautiful necklaces and I can banglets and earrings yeah and i couldn't get enough i think the twinkle and the shimmer and the glimmer on that red carpet was just beautiful so sandra hill uh, hiller in uh, scaparelli describe the dress again for the audience that is not watching they're listening it was a velvet silhouette, which means it was a strapless dress that glided on her body. It fit her gorgeous, beautifully, but it had two extra wings. And I think the designs this season for Scaparelli has been away from the body, stand away from the body. That's a Very structured form. Away from the body, correct? Very structured okay. away from the body. And she looked like she had two little butterfly wings with a huge pendant in the middle. I think it was beautiful. I think it was architectural. Okay. I feel that there was very a lot of thought and um, like a lot went into making this dress and designing this dress. Obviously. A lot went into making and creating the dress. Um, as a designer, I want to ask your opinion. What would you think of this? Because the thing I didn't like about it, I I get the uh, the, the wings. structured wings coming out. It's kind of cool, but it was black, right? What if she did this in like a color? I think if it was in a color, I would have appreciated it a lot more because you would yeah. have been able to really acknowledge and maybe see some of the details that the black takes up a lot of light and you're not able to then identify with. Right. But I also don't know the story on how many days it took for them to be able to complete this or if it was a last minute thing or had they been working on it for a while. But it is gorgeous. Um Okay, Emily Blunt, again, Scaparelli and Tiffany & Company jewelry. I know you you liked this dress. I hated this dress. 
I think the idea of the dress for the designer is season and what the concept has been by having away from the body so the shoulders were standing up. Okay. And it looked like there was a hang, like it was still stuck on a hanger. I get that, but I don't like the crystal JJ indentation where it's basically saying this is my my vajayj here i didn't like that well that's the beautiful part of the woman where you're able to see the as if it's if you block off the skirt mm -hmm. you'll see a bathing suit you'll see the shape where her legs are okay and that's what they were trying to identify wouldn't that be more sexier if it was more sheer and you could see it in a maybe little bit? if the textures of the fabrics were defined a little bit differently or if it didn't have that waistband and you were able to see it as one continuous item. Yeah. She's wearing Tiffany and Company jewelry. Do you think it's too much, the neckline? Because the, I, I mean. You can never have enough diamonds. I don't care, <laughs> bitches. You wear as many diamonds as you got, and I don't care. How many I'm carats is that? I'm afraid to wear it, and you should too. How many carats do you think that those, those necklaces are that she's wearing? Because Not enough. Like, it, you could see it from fucking China. I mean, it was... It, crazy not right? enough i think you should always wear diamonds okay make it impactful make it extravagant make you know what there's no such thing as being too much what's too much but do you like the structured of the the sleeves where it sticks up above her body and it's structured to wear that way because i don't know if a lot of people can carry this i don't know if a lot of people can wear this okay i think she looked beautiful i yeah. think she was paired i think they had a whole theme going on that night so okay. she did a great job at being able to accomplish that but is it my favorite not so much okay um let's do let's see Okay, um, let's talk about Carrie Mulligan. She's wearing custom Balenciaga and Fred Layton jewelry. I loved this dress. Describe it. I think for everybody who doesn't understand what the Academy Award stands for, mm -hmm. she knows. She understood what the, um, the what assignment say? was. The assignment was, <laughs> the homework was. Yes. And she was able to show up in a vintage gown that looked effortlessly custom couture mm. like it's never been yeah put together it's black mermaid what's the bottom what do you call that with bottom? the cascading scalloped edges okay with a tulle fish net at the very very uh exaggerated voluminous skirt which is gorgeous but here i have a question she didn't wear any necklace why is that because I think she wanted to focus on the earrings. I think she wanted to put highlight on just the earrings and mm -hmm. not overdo it because she was also wearing gloves. But her bone structure and the, the way her body Gorgeous. Looks I loved her hair. In this dress. I loved her hair in this her too. Her makeup. She's her, got a short bob, right? Comes short below bob. her or above her chin. Um, I love how she had her bob pulled back so you could see those earrings. I would have loved <sighs> to see some more jewelry on her. I think so. So that she doesn't look like you know, security came up behind her and said, oh, time's up. Got to take your necklace. <laughs> it's midnight. The ball's over. The ball's <laughs> over. Going to turn into a pumpkin. Um, do you think that she could have pulled off if she wore like a really cool diamond bangle bracelet over the, the, the glove? I think she may have been wearing something underneath and we don't see it. Yeah. But she should have been wearing something on the exterior of the glove. And if for those of you that don't know the difference between wearing it underneath the glove or wearing it over to be showcased is something that's very, it's preferential. I think it's beautiful if you wear it over. Yeah. Because it highlights it, it illuminates it. Let's talk about Gabrielle Union in Carolina Herrera and again, Tiffany and Company. Well, Tiffany went into the vault for this uh, season, and they t they did not wow. pull any stops. Yeah, they didn't. Gabrielle Union's dress was a whole dress on top, tunic top with a little bit of a peplum. Is that chain metal? It's not. It's, it's not. crystals. Crystals. It's crystals that are shaped and applied all throughout in a circular manner all throughout her body. Got it. So every row is a one-inch crystal 
that is then applied all the way throughout circular. Now I'm seeing a hint. It's silver, right? It's all crystals. It's the crystal silver. is has a silver backing, but, a but pink then behind. Have you noticed that? There's like a pinkish coming there's through. There's a that's because of the lights that are in front. Got it's it. Picking up, it's picking up the hue from the lights, but it's clear. But clear it's gorgeous. Crystals. Yeah, and I love the necklace too. So we love that one too. Um, Bradley Cooper, custom Louis Vuitton, uh, and uh, I love his watch, tambour watch. I think his suit was 1975 porn star. <laughs> and he What's wrong with being a 1975 porn star? Not If you're Bradley Cooper, honey, come into my room any day. Yeah. But... I also feel that he was missing the final touch, which was a bow tie. Mm. I think he needed to complete the look by making sure that his look was finished from head to toe. Okay. The flared pants, he rocked the jacket. I loved the flared pants, but, but, but the... But the jacket seems like it's too long for him. I know he's very, very tall, but couldn't it have been put in more in the sides and made it more fitted and more they tailored? Could have, they could have tailored the jacket a little bit more okay. to fit his very slim stature. Yeah. And the jacket could have been at and least it's double -breasted, right? three quarters so. of an inch to an inch shorter okay. so that it would hit him in more of a proportionate area. Yep. But... The bow tie, I, I had to stop at the bow tie because I really needed him to have something. Right. Even a, see, if you wore a strand or two of pearls mm -hmm. underneath your collar on right. the outside as a bow tie, okay, that would be an accessory that could complement the final look. Or what if he put a brooch on this? A brooch would be nice, right? Would have right? been fabulous. Right. Yes. Yeah. I mean, we love that. Okay, Rami. Yusuf in Zedna. I, what was this? I thought he looked like he was going to church to pray. He was in a long, what is this called? Tunic? Tunic. A long tunic with a jacket over it. It was all black. And I absolutely hated it. He I, looks like a priest. I don't think it's appropriate for the Oscars. Do you? I think he tried to do something unusual and new, but I don't know if he was on the right track because it doesn't seem that it's his characteristics and personality. Right. He wasn't able to carry it off because it seemed unnatural to him. Well, I also, he's not very tall, right? So this is not going to make him look any taller. I don't think he's very tall. Well, either way, that's not a good look. No, I hated tall it. Tall or short. Yeah, I hated it. I don't think uh, anybody should wear a tunic to the Oscars. Um, who do you want to talk about next? Let's see. Oh, Cynthia Erivo in Louis Vuitton and Roberto Colin Jewelry. I okay, Cynthia Erivo. She's wearing custom Louis Vuitton, Roberto Colin Jewelry. It's green. It's a, is that an emerald green? It's an emerald. Forest green, right? It's actually a hunter green. Hunter green. Okay. And it's very... She looks beautiful. But the sleeves she look very was, bulky to me. She was flawless. Okay. But that sleeve, it's not a sleeve. What it is, it's a bolero jacket with full gathered sleeves that have a train that cascade down the back. Okay. In a very low plunging V with a mermaid skirt that's one piece. And it's made out of leather or vinyl. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what this material is, really. And you like this dress? I love the dress for a really? runway Grammy Award look, but I okay. don't like this dress for the red carpet at the Academy Awards because it doesn't show stately. It doesn't right. show glamour. It shows architectural. Mm -hmm. It shows new. Yep. It shows something that you would do as an experience experiment right it shows something that but to, to if me, you're her okay and you've got a banging body you could wear anything okay but to me the way this dress looked to me it looked like it was like season one of project runway where they gave them two hours to put a dress together and i didn't think it fit her properly i didn't like it i could see where you could see that because the <laughs> finishes are not supported Right. And finishes and are... And I'm not a designer, so I'm just looking at it as a, 
a regular person. Finishes are the way it sits on her where you've got the gapping in between her bust line and the V right. when you've got the gapping. But this is not an easy fabric to fit. Okay. You had to use lots of lotion. Okay. Lots of powder underneath okay. to be able to slip this on. Got it. She's she's stunning. And this is a dress, tell me, um, and tell her already, this is a dress that... Um, she would have to have a fitting, right? They can't just send this to her and say, no. a stylist will pull no. for this. She has to have a fitting for this dress. Now, when you when when we start talking about Zendaya yeah. and the gown that she was wearing, yeah. it was an Armani. Right. Okay, Zendaya wearing Giorgio Armani Privé. Now, Zendaya has an amazing body, but even then, you're wearing a bustier top, glitter fabric, Ruched to the side. Stunning. You've got the... Uh, one sleeve, what, right? What, one what shoulder? What we call one strap on one side, which is the Grecian, where it's rotated throughout the body. Okay. All the, the beads and crystals that have been hand sewn, sewn right. onto uh, the fabric, It's you need a fitting for this. You need to be able to... And she's beautiful yeah. she's fit she's got amazing proportions you can she can wear a trash bag but i've never seen her look bad i mean she's always everything she wears but just fits her you perfectly. still have to fit and shape and okay. contour the female body this this dress to me and it's, is that red is that maroon the color it's what are the colors it's maroon and raspberry raspberry it looks and like a raspberry raspberry and silver is that pewter 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 like and those are all like pewter. crystals and beads beads and crystals. but to me this dress looks like it was painted on her body well because of the liquid form of the raspberry then you see the highlight when the light picks up gorgeous that you could see every little bit of zendaya Mm -hmm. And I see she's got the diamond. Is that a that's a diamond pen, bangle, right? Bangle, yes. Gorgeous. Um, who and this? even the hem. Look at the hem. Just subtly yeah. graces the red carpet. Just a tiny it's bit. Not too just long. Enough. Not too short. Yeah. But it works. Yeah, I love it. It's definitely a beautiful dress. Um, can we talk about America Ferrara and custom Versace uh, and Pom Pomoletto? Is it? Oh my God. Pomolato, jewelry. Right? Pomolato jewelry. I think she did an wow. amazing job wearing <laughs> chain link and the fit. It's pink, right? The color pink. pink. The Is this called the halter? Iridescent pink? No. It's this not. is a solid, but the lights that are illuminated in front are what's giving it the highlight because it's picking uh, up the light from the the necklace. red carpet. <gasps> The necklace had the raspberry color in there, the red, the pink, yeah. the silver, the clear. But this was made to fit. And it does. And, you know, her and I, we probably went on a water diet for a whole week <laughs> to be able to zip this dress up in order for me to be able to even breathe. Right. Have space to be able to get some oxygen in. Yeah. But it's gorgeous. And I love the color. Is it too long in the back, the train? No. Okay. No, it's it's beautifully done. And this is a hard fabric to work with. You have to sew it by hand. What is this you, fabric called? It's metal. It is it's metal. metal. It's metal chain because yeah. there are little squares that are attached next to each other. So this is not easy to make. Not easy to make at all. It's absolutely stunning. But even her hairstyle blended and matched exactly what she was wearing. 100%. Uh, let's talk about Divine Joy Randolph Custom Louis Vuitton. And she was wearing an Omega watch, which you really can't see the watch. But, you know, I'm iffy on this. I'm kind of, I like it. I don't like it. I don't know what I like or don't like. I don't know if I like, it's blue. What's the color? It's, uh, it's, a, it's a powder blue. Okay. Sequined halter dress. Okay. That's straight okay. from head to toe. But the sequins are really beautiful sequins, of course. Are these called and paillettes? They're French paillettes. Okay. But it's got this extra overcoat, which has the billowing. Uh, are those flowers? Those are all flowers, right? Or no? They look like they've been tattered fabric, chiffon. Gorgeous. And they've been tattered and 
to give it fullness for a sleeve, okay. an off-the-shoulder sleeve. Yep. And the chiffon, the rest of the chiffon is draping in the back as it cascades on the carpet. Now, when you think of chiffon, it's a very soft fabric. When you marry it with sequins, mm -hmm. sometimes it gets caught. So when she was on stage, what I did notice is that some of the feathered chiffon was getting caught to the sequins on her dress. Oh. Because the sequins... That's how you know right. the quality of the sequence as well. Right. Because they weren't plastic. They were metal. They stayed on. They didn't come they, off. They, they, they snapped. But do you like putting this chiffon with this sequin? I loved. I loved the color. Okay. I loved the textures together. Yep. I think the color was a gorgeous hue yes. for her to shine in. Yeah. And she came to win. She came to slay. Now she... Well, she, she won. She didn't, <laughs> and that's a winning dress. It is a winning dress. She didn't care if it made her look heavy. She didn't care if it made her look skinny. She didn't care if it, she felt confident. When she was walking that carpet, she owned it. Yeah. And it didn't matter if it was Louis Vuitton. It didn't matter it was sequins and chiffon. Mm -hmm. It didn't matter it was, she The, the dress kind of reminded me the dress that you made for Silky Nutmeg Ganache for RuPaul's Drag Race. Yes. Because it was the gold sequins. And again, it's, you know, she's not skinny. She's very, 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 you know. Full. She's full, full size, big, big girl. And so is Divine Joy. But she doesn't, but she looks good. She because looks Because she came to win. I love it. Well, and she won. So that was pretty cool. Um... Let's talk about Florence Pugh. Florence Pugh in Delcor. I'm sorry. I hated this dress. Everyone was talking about how much they love this dress. It's Is that silver? I think they like, yes. I think they love the dress because it's very architectural. It's unusual. Okay. It's creative. Is this silver and like green hue in the top? No, it's just silver and pewter, okay. and there's different shades of silver. I like through the bust it line with the crystals. Okay, it's a it's a beautiful top. It has a scaparelli uh, exaggeration. Mm -hmm. It has all the all architectural details, like a peplum that's a little less. It's got the shiny silver skirt with the crystals and beads throughout the midriff. But I feel that it wasn't proportioned to her. That's what it's it missing, maybe. It didn't fit her quite right. Yeah. And this is the same thing with the sleeves sticking up. Yeah, the... that's that's the look that they were doing the season for. So. But this wasn't Scaparelli. It is. The jewelry is Delcor. Oh, oh, this is Scaparelli. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Um I didn't like the peplum. Is that peplum on the sides, on the hips? I didn't like that either. The peplum that's exaggerated, that mm -hmm. has wire around the edges, so it makes it look more architectural. Yeah. And it's intact, so the shape is keeping its firmness. So you like this dress? I love the dress. I hated it. I love the idea. Mm -hmm. I don't like the fit and proportions for her. Well, that means you didn't like the dress because it's on her and you didn't like it on her. It would have been better on someone else. Okay. I could go with that. Would, would someone that's a larger, more full-figured be able to pull this off better? No. Somebody... No. All, like a Zendaya size. Yes. Could wear something like this. Somebody that doesn't have curves like she does. Okay. Let's talk about Billie Eilish. I fucking hated it. I'm sorry. I hated it. Hated it. Hated it. Hated it. Hated it. She gets my worst dress of the entire night. I think she's... Wearing Chanel. You have to realize that she's wearing a beautiful jacket, a beautiful skirt. She's it's, is rocking that an entire. What's that called? Twi that's Chanel. No, but that's what it's called. Chanel. Oh, boucle. Chanel. Oh, boucle. Okay. It's their traditional uh, classic fabric. Got it. And she looked really, really comfortable in her own skin. And you also have to realize something. Yeah. Here's when we're talking about the academy awards when it started in the 20s or 30s yeah and back then when you were 30 or 40 and you went to the academy awards you were being highlighted and life was more formal sure now you're talking about young artists that are in their early 20s that there's generations that have gone through I that don't 
under that want to feel that they connect to the world uh-huh. and their perspective is a different now it's not appropriate for the academy awards can i say that she could have done a longer skirt can i say that she could have done a sequenced jacket yeah can i say that she could have put together maybe a um fuller I mean, she looks like a schoolgirl. She looks like a Catholic schoolgirl yeah. from a Britney Spears music video. I don't like the Mary Jane shoes. I don't like the Bobby socks. I think what you said with the beads and the crystals or whatever and the longer skirt, it should have been more of a formal look. This is too casual to wear to the Academy Awards, especially I to think, go to win an Oscar. I think that's what it is. Yeah. I think the fact that her youth even though the look is very expensive. Okay. But her youth didn't understand how no to be way. able to grow into or be, or, f- or or she hasn't been able to identify what look works for her yet. So she's in the experimental stages. Now, Okay. most kids her age don't have the kind of money she does where she could just explore uh, on Rodeo Drive right. and find different brands that work for her and be able to pull from. Right. We go to Zara, we go to H and M, which is the same things of the that yeah. Chanel makes, but in a like a knockoff, edited, basically edited version. Yeah, I don't know. So we you like you didn't like this then? Not for the Academy Awards. Okay. For her, I liked it, but not for the Academy okay. Awards. I agree. Uh, Anya Taylor Joy in Dior and Tiffany and Company. I think she looks like a little Barbie doll. And it's a silver, that pewter, silver, full length. She's wearing a gorgeous bustier top that's hand beaded with beautiful amulets that are throughout the entire top in a very specific pattern that variegate from pewter to silver to light gray to like a, a very, very light gray. Okay. And the skirt, it's almost like a fish scale. Yeah. And each petal is beaded throughout as if it creates like the scale of a fish as it's laid down. Right. Her jewelry was stunning. Her hair was perfect. And this is a vintage. And is this a hard dress to make? This is (laughs) a gown that took over probably 800 hours to make. Wow. Because there's no way that you could apply each one of those beads and then attach each one of the petals yeah. and then stitch onto an entire foundation. Yeah. And look at the jewelry, the bangle, the bracelet. But she did it right. Yeah, she, she came did. she came beautiful. I don't know if this was the right color, but this mm. is an archival piece. Okay. I would have rather because her hues and her colors are warmer, so she should have been able to do something more of the gold. Got it. So if you're going to do metallics, do colors that work best for you and this dress what color would you put her in in this dress i would have done it in more of the gold hue in a gold hue that would be yeah so she would have looked like the statue yeah okay margot robbie in versace and fred layton jewelry i think she was ready to say you know what i'm closing the chapter fuck barbie barbie's done (laughs) she was like you know what I'm closing the chapter on Barbie. I've done everything I need to. I've gotten it to the Academy Awards. Yep. And it's time for me to find Margot Robbie again on the way out. Mm. So that I'm not typecast into who Barbie is. Right. But here's my point. Okay. Well, it's all black. It's it's black. It's black. Is that rouging on the... It's black sequins, okay. which is a very tight-fitted bustier with a contoured top where okay. it's not a straight line over the bust. Yep. It's got like a, a, we call it a happy face or an upside down face. Over the bust line. Over the bust line. Got it. And it's got the drape over the abdomen, which then ropes around the hips to the back, to mm-hmm. the zipper. Generally, when you do a drape like this, yes. it has a tail that oh. follows it to the back. It's a very Grace Kelly look. Okay. And she doesn't have the t- train. She doesn't have the tail. It's a very simplified version of But this is a it. very fuck Barbie, I'm done with Barbie dress. I'm not doing I mean, Barbie. it fits beautifully. <laughs> but I almost think the look that she had for the Vanity Fair party. Was better. 
with the boost, the gold oh. bustier with the see details oh my God. around the very uh, brim and. It was very Moulin Rouge, the vanity and it fair, seemed yeah. so much more exciting to be able to wear. But she wore it to a party yeah. versus wearing it to the red carpet at the Academy Awards. Okay. So, and and the drape that she had over her arms, and just the effortless way that she pulled herself together with that bustier that was very constructed, very tight, very yep. form fitted, and the color. Yes. Yeah, it, it illuminated gold, I loved her. that gold color. It just illuminated her. I love. I mean, it. she was ready to just party. Yes, yeah, she was. She definitely was. Um, Sterling K. Brown. Let's talk about some of the men in Dior, and he was wearing Boucheron jewelry and oh, Bruno Mali shoes. <laughs> you know, he was one of the males at the Oscars this year that did not do the flared pants. You know, he's Which very traditional. He's very classic. Mm -hmm. All the Emmys looks that he's ever done this is double breasted but i love the is that a sash? The little sash yeah. i liked the sash look actually i was very i think i nice. think he's he stepped it up from his emmys look because he wanted to give himself a little more dressed look and not just your traditional classic tuxedo mm -hmm. so he did do a great job at that and he's very classic you know what i thought when he walked in and i saw this i i think the flare pants great he didn't really need them but this jacket this whole look to me it looked like he's screaming hey i am not a tv star i'm a movie star because he looked like a movie star walking I'm a, in i'm a nominated yeah i'm a nominated category yeah and and, it, and he he I, he didn't win but it, right he, no he didn't yeah win. He but didn't. he but he looked like a winner but all the men in the category even coleman domingo our yeah. friend he looked stunning and i know he came to win we're gonna we're gonna all get the there. men came to win let's talk about regina king in uh custom versace this orange i usually don't like this orange i love the high slit it's a full-length gown with a train. What's the fabric on this, and what's the bust line look like? Well, the fabric looks like, looks like it's the stretch jersey that Versace uses, and it's but are these beaded. Or these sequins? are all hand beaded. Okay. And, and the monochromatic look, which is the color of the fabric, also was the same as what the beads are. Got it. And they were done in a ray, which means they were patterned away from each other. It's almost as if she didn't need jewelry because the dress and the way it wrapped around her collar. Right. And it what is this called when the one bust goes around the neck like that? Is there a name for that? Because I love it. Not really. Oh, I love it. It's, it's architectural. Like, it's like they're wearing a scarf. But it's, it's very cool. But, but it's very pretty. Yeah. Because one bust is exposed. One bust is covered. It's got the high low at the bust line. Okay. It's got the asymmetrical lines that cascade through running down to where the slit is. I love is. the high slit. That's a high slit, right? She looks very Emmy worthy. Yeah, I like it. I definitely agree. Um, let's talk about Danielle Brooks in Dolce and Gabbana. All black. And this is a boost. What's the bustier top? The boosty, see, this is very reminiscent of, let's say, Madonna's video or the Marilyn I mean, I've Monroe. seen this dress before, right? I have. It's nothing unusual or new, okay. but the fit and the confidence that this gave her looks good. and the way that she paraded up and down, mm -hmm. she felt beautiful. It's done gorgeous. The... The bustier top, the way it fits, mm -hmm. the seams now, on the bustier top with the crystal, yeah, the inlays I love her of nails all too, her the, nails. and they match, <laughs> yeah, the inlays in in silver, yep, that match her, mm -hmm. beautiful. Are those crystals that are no, coming it's, down? The it's long a, no, that's a metallic piece. Metallic piece. Metallic yeah. pieces that. Do the silver. I love the jewelry she was, again. She was very well put together. Yeah, head to she toe. did. And she really, I mean, this is her first Academy Awards. And yeah. she was ready to just present herself. A dress like this, all black, um, like this, and a girl that is plus size wearing this, is she like snatched with a corset underneath, like skins? Well, or like what, what, what does she need to wear under this dress to bring the body 
to make her look that snatched. Well, the bustier on the outside is a bustier on the inside. Okay. So she's wearing two bustiers. The construction uh, on the outside is the same got as it. what's on the inside with the structure. Interesting. I love that. We like this dress, right? Um, Melissa McCarthy in Christian Siriano. I'm sorry. I hated this look. I didn't like the pink and the red together. It looked really stupid. I didn't like the train. I, I didn't like this. What is this in the middle? The rouging? Or is that just didn't fit her properly? I didn't like the long sleeve. Is that taffeta? The taffeta and the fuchsia and the sheath dress in the red. I think blending those colors and Didn't there's, work a, there's a lot going on. And yeah. I don't think proportionately the shape worked for her. No. And she's wearing jewels, right? But you really can't, you can't see, them. see it. Yeah. Her hairstyle looked really old and right. dated. I, I just think her whole look was a miss. A miss. And it didn't even fit her properly. A complete miss. Um, and it was Christian Siriano, and she was wearing Jacob and Company jewels. The jewels I like, but you can't see them. So what's the point of wearing what's them? What's the one? What's the exactly. point? Exactly. Okay, another. Sorry, Christian Siriano. Another one, Eric Alexander. This was my ultimate worst dress besides Billie Eilish that I hated on the red carpet. Um, she is well, wearing. Well, you didn't hate Billie Eilish's outfit. Oh, I hated it. You hated it for the Academy Awards. It was a gorgeous put together look for a runway. Not for an award show. But you didn't like it for this award show. Right. When it okay. comes to this dress, you just don't like the dress for anything. No. This dress, Erica Alexander wore. It's a white. Uh, expl can, can you maybe make it's heads or tails of it? Because I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> it's a white strapless dress okay. with a train uh, in the back. Okay. Which, which an, the train does not look ironed to me. Am I wrong? Because I'm looking at that. It doesn't look ironed. Well, regardless whether it was ironed or not. Okay. Okay. Then there's this overskirt in black that's put on that does not look like it's proportioned properly. Okay. Looks like it was taken from a longer skirt, cut short, and made to look like it's a high-low, which is shorter in the front, longer in the back. Got it. It's got the different colors like purple and lilac and lavender and um, ivory and then mint and sea foam ruffles around the edge of the black tool that to me now is this um uh a petticoat that you would wear under a dress and they're wearing it over the dress it looks like a petticoat to me well the construction is almost the same concept but this is made to be worn outside as a accent piece. got it okay but now if the dress underneath was black you would mm -hmm. see the highlights of the the purple, the gold, and the green. Got it. But the dress is white. It doesn't fit her properly. And I know Christian had said that uh, in one of his interviews, they only had four days to make the dress. But I'm thinking, I can make this dress in two hours. It's horrible. So you have to be able to, regardless, four days or otherwise, you have to make it fit. And when you have yeah. the measurements of the body you sure. have to create it so that it fits well listen you've done dubai housewives dresses for the reunion fully virtual you never even well, saw them once you, you did fully virtual and it fit them like a glove once you have the measurements you know how correct. to be able to navigate them correct i don't know we this was an epic failure this was the this. worst dress um annette well. benning in Giorgio armani Privé, martin katz jewels i you know, I don't know. I love him, Nepinette, Annette Benning, but what? I mean, is she just tired of going to the Oscars and getting dressed up? Because this is what it looks like. It looked like she is wearing a long tunic uh, top, tunic kimono or something, maybe over pajamas. It's like a duster. That's what it's called, a and, duster. And it looks like it's over pajamas. Um, are they blue? It's navy okay. with beads, and it just looks very dated. It looks old. Yeah. It looks like it should have been retired many years ago, and then it came back because she felt like that's something that she could recycle i don't like the gold trim on the and i love annette duster. benning i i love I do annette too. benning she's got a great body great figure and she could have called anybody right i'm available annette hey, annette, annette call me call what did you think about the her wearing sunglasses on the red carpet because i know you have a pet peeve that's about her that. well that's her look though she's been doing it for multiple years okay so but they're sheer enough where you could see her eyes yeah and that's been a staple for her for many years okay but do i think she should have done it at the academy awards no 
Okay, let's talk about Taylor Zakar Perez in Prada. And um, what's the jewels he's wearing? Vacheron Const. Oh, he's, oh, I'm sorry. Let's talk about Taylor Zakar Perez in Prada, and he's wearing a Vacheron Constantine watch. I love the watch. I love the suit. Um, he's not wearing a bow tie, though, right? It's all blue. It's a powder blue. He is wearing a bow tie. He is wearing a bow tie, but it's black on black. Yeah, you can't see it. So I don't like the black on black. I like the blue. I like the blue suit with the black lapel, though, over the top of the suit. I like. I that. think. I think this suit fits him beautifully. I think yeah. it's tailored gorgeous. I Definitely. think he's a beautiful human being. Yep. I think he's he was ready to be able to showcase himself. Yes. But the periwinkle color fell a little short for me because it didn't have the accessories and the details that it needed in order for it to complement the carpet completely. Okay. If he had worn the pin or the diamonds or you're taking the, the label off of the sleeve. And uh, epic fail, right? When a male not, leaves the label on the sleeve, that's an well, epic Well, one of the fail. things that men do is yeah. they don't. They should take off the label from the sleeve. Okay. And then they should also open up the vents. In the back. In the back. Yeah. Because when you leave it closed, that means you just took it out of the bag. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't fit you properly. And I see that all access. the time. It's well, such they don't know to do fail. it. Uh, do they think that it's supposed to be stitched like that and left? No. <laughs> so please, please, I always make you do it on my suits because I always especially forget. when you're going to a wedding and yeah. you just got a tuxedo or a suit <laughs> and you're wearing it for the first time. Open up the vents, take the the name tags off of the the sleeve hem. Yep. Um, what did you think about Becky G in custom Vera Wang? I thought this was very dated. It's gold. Is it a gold chain metal bustier no, with a black rouging skirt? It's a sequined. It's, okay. it's like a mesh uh, beaded top. Okay. Bustier. Like a bustier right? Okay. It, I mean, it's really, really pretty. It's a nude color. Okay. Then it's got the black short skirt underneath with the little drape that goes asymmetrical over with the slit to the side. Okay. She looks like she's going to a day club. It, it doesn't look Oscars she looks like she's me. in Vegas. Yeah. It doesn't look like the Academy Awards, regal, stately. It's a No, little... you know what she looks like? She looks like when you walk into a strip club and there's a hostess there. That's who she looks like. The hostess. I mean, the, the concept club. was the hostess at the strip club. Okay. It's just an expensive version of it. Oh, okay. I was not a fan of either of that at all. So well, that's an epic fail. Okay. I know you liked this. Rita Marino wearing uh, Badgley Mishka and she was wearing Vendura uh, Vend jewelry, but I hated it. it I'll tell you. Rita I hated Mar this black dress. She has, she feels like she's just arrived. Oh, she yeah. is. She has clawed her way into getting to the Academy Awards. <laughs> yeah. And she, I think she presented herself beautifully. She was true to who she is. Yep. And at this point, I think she's saying with this outfit, with all the ruffles everywhere, which is very 1975, and the ruffles cascading down, and the ruffles around her, her face, is I don't give a fuck. Basically. And, the, and do you like, I don't think, the, I think the gloves are, too long for this, no? But here's the thing. When you're that old, yeah, your skin gets a little more fine. So she's covering everything she's, up. <laughs> the idea about this dress is I don't want to see my decollete, which is the first place where you see signs mm. of aging. So she's giving us Carl Lagerfeld. She's giving us Carl Lagerfeld. <laughs> she and she's is. covering up all the imperfections that she does not want to... I mean, she looks good, but I just didn't like the dress. I didn't like the the ruffles. It she reminds very... me of Phyllis Diller with yeah. the hair and everything else. It just didn't look fun to me. I mean, you thought it looked fun, but I just didn't Well, think... because I know we know her enough to know that that's what she's all about. Do you think this dress, if it was not done in black, if it was done in a color, maybe it would be more of a fun well, color? Well, you would be able to a... see the details of the ruffles and the cascade maybe and that's the what shape I'm and the, the way it kind of draped on her body and skin. And she yeah. could have still done black gloves and that would have been a contrast but everybody was in very monochromatic looks this year yeah absolutely true monochromatic meaning tone on tone mm -hmm. shade on shade okay okay let's talk about Haley steinfeld and ellie saab uh 
and Chopard jewelry. I I mean, wow. I mean, I can't say that this was Ellie Saab's showpiece. Seafoam, right? Seafoam and gold. Seafoam. She looked like a Greek goddess. She did. With chiffon. The, is this chiffon? This is silk chiffon, okay. iridescent silk chiffon. Because okay. if you look at it in, in the light slightly, yep. it actually picks up the gold details that are applied all over the bust. So you're able to see the shade, the hue. Yeah. And one, one the way that, it drapes over her arms with the cuffs yes. that have the chiffon that goes around the neckline mm -hmm. and then drapes like a Grecian goddess in the back, in the right? back. And then comes in the front where you can like a sleeve. Like a like a like a bottom sleeve. Is that what you what do you call that? Cuffs. Cuffs. Okay. And is this difficult to make? Well, this is hours of work because it's all hand done. Okay. The ruching maybe, you know, a few minutes in the sewing machine. Okay. But the bodice is all hand beaded and to make it fit the way it has. Yeah. To have that same look, this has been adjusted to make sure that it's flawless on her. She looks great. And when she was walking around, she felt like a little butterfly just parading around. Yeah. She looked really, really good. Um Last one we're going to do, because we got to do our friend Coleman Domingo, because Coleman Domingo, I'm sorry, he was the best dressed male, I think, of not just the Oscars. I think Coleman Domingo was the best dressed male of the entire award season. I think <laughs> he was celebrating what he has achieved. Yeah. He was celebrating the relationships and the, the friendships that he was there to be able to visit with. Yep. He was celebrating the project. Yes. He was celebrating his successes and him being a formidable um, actor. Yeah. And he's a beautiful man. Such a nice guy. And he's such an elegant yeah. Man. Yep. And for him to have the stands and the proportions and the body to carry a beautifully tailored yep. fit. Okay. Alongside with the accessories that he had where he put a diamond brooch in the middle as the tie-in to his it. bow tie. With the flare pants. That illuminated his face. I love the flare pants. The flare, the gentle, soft flare yes. of the pants. Yeah. But he's so tall and he's yeah. so statuesque that I think he's the female version to me of Zendaya. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, and he's hot, too. The man has... The body. Yeah. He's got... And we've seen him so many times and, and know him and met him and been with him in person so many times. He's so tall and stately and just really knows how to carry himself. And then on the carpet, all the carpets this season, he looked amazing. But the the Oscars, the best he's looked. I think, the best. I think he came to win. Yeah. And he and didn't win. That sucks. You know what? He's gonna he's he's gonna win next time. He was yep. in contention. He was he's now a nominee. Okay. I mean, we're gonna do let alone to be a nominated. We're gonna do one last look. We're gonna talk about one last look, and then we're gonna pick our best and our worst. Okay. Each. Last look, Ariana Grande wearing Jim Jim. Oh my God. Last look, Ariana Grande in custom Giambasta Valley Ut Couture and Tiffany Jewelry. Batista Valley. Oh, I said that now. Right. She's worn this look before. Yeah. And she loves the oversized. It's pink. It's, it's pink. a long dress, rouging. It's a pink strapless ruched dress okay. from all the way down, which means it looks like a bandaged wrapped around. Got it. So it's been gathered throughout. What is then it's got on the side or no? Then she's got an overcoat. Got which it. Which has a lot of volume, fullness, and just this uh, voluminous capture of gathers, yards of fabric. That must have been at least 12 yards of fabric just on her arms with the drape in the back. Wow. All the way to the other but side. But don't you think that this dress wore her? She did not wear this dress. This was too much of a dress for her, I think. I think the color was light okay because it's a bubblegum pink okay and the volume okay. i think if this was in a darker color yep the volume would have shrunk a little bit to make it more proportionate to her where you would be able to see her and be highlighted and i think because she's so pale and fair in her skin her yeah. hair color 
and then the light pink, she looked like it was washed out. Yeah. And that's why you saw less of her mm -hmm. and more of the volume of the gown itself. Okay, well, who's your best dressed for the night? My best dress has to go to Lup Lupita Nyong'o. Oh my God, we didn't even talk about her. She was well, wearing Giorgio Armani. The Giorgio Armani yeah. dress that she had sketched out for her mm -hmm. in 2020 that she never got to wear Wow, was now made for her in that beautiful sky blue okay. with the ostrich feathers, the proportions on it, the sequence, the beads, the crystal, the V neckline, her toned arms, and the way the bottom flowed with the ostrich feathers in, in the soft um, mermaid mm -hmm. was stunning on her. Okay, I think my favorite... Of and she wasn't even there to win. I know. My favorite of the entire night, I have to say, was... Gabrielle Union. I loved that dress. I thought she just looked effortless and flawless. And the dress, I mean, everything about this dress, I loved. She was beautiful. It was unique. It was different. I loved all her jewelry. Gabrielle Union's my favorite. And yours is Lupita Nyong'o. Now, when it comes to the males. Wait, well, let's first do the worst dressed. Do we agree? Who's your worst dressed? Mine, hands down, Erica Alexander. Annette Benning, mm, my okay. worst dress. Yeah, probably. Because there's no way that when you're Annette Benning, you should roll you, out of bed just, like that. It's just that that shouldn't be. I agree. Like you have access to all of us. Yeah. Call me, Annette Benning. Call me. I'm here for you. Okay. And the, I'm about to call you, actually. <laughs> we're, I'm going to call her. Annette, we're calling you. Um, I think our worst, I'm sorry, our best dressed male, Coleman for Domingo. Me, it's Coleman Domingo. Coleman Domingo, hands because down. Because I think. He was so appropriate with the entire look, head to toe. Yep. His stance. I mean, even in, in his shoes, the details and the the way it was curated and his personality showed yeah. in the outfit. It wasn't that it was just a beautiful ensemble. It wasn't that it was just a beautiful suit. Agreed. But it was also very familiar because his personality shined but also every aspect of what he wore the shoes the pants the jacket the the bow tie the brooch everything was perfect he wore it well who is the worst dressed male for you i know mine very easily i think bradley cooper really bradley cooper well because I you didn't, didn't like that jacket i didn't i didn't like mm. the fit and the no bow tie and it just seemed okay like Okay, who would be my other my one? My worst, Rami Yosef. Yes, that one. Wearing the tunic. You're right. I I, I, I forgive myself. Rami, <laughs> yeah, you're you're right. Someone needs to tell him he was at the Oscars. Well, somebody should tell him, don't wear this anywhere. <laughs> Forget the Oscars, just anywhere. Oh my God, babe, that is our runway rundown wrap of the Oscars 2024. It's a wrap, people. Can Runway Rundown, Oscars 2024. And uh, there's more to come because we're going to be doing more of these for all the different reality shows. We're going to be doing all the... And this was Oscars 2024, but there's more to come. I think we'll do this on reunion shows and reunion looks and finales. Why not, right? Let's We're going to trash all those bitches. <laughs> and some will like. But before we go, I want to tell everyone, rate, review, subscribe. Uh, book your copy read at pullat2.com. And listen to us on Jeff Lewis Extended on Sirius XM Radio Andy. See you soon, bitches. Bye, Undress Bitches. This podcast is brought to you by Herdat Media and American Media Television. Executive producers are Patrick Simpson, Pola 2, and Pat Safford. Produced by Jordan Hill and Sarah Silicula. Shooting and editing by Jordan Hill. Music by Digital Camo. Artwork by Dominique Demetz. And hosted by Pola 2, Patrick Simpson, and Little Snow White 90210. Remember to follow at Pola2 and at Patrick Simpson and at Snow White 90210 and watch Gown and Out in Beverly Hills on Prime Video. And don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe to this podcast so you never miss an episode.